Let's go to Magi Fest 2024. Double-sided coin, yeah. No, no, here, watch. There's tails. Watch this, shadow magic. Heads. Oh, nice. That That's really cool. Shadow magic, tails. Oh, that, heads. Back to tails. That is cool. That is cool. Here we go. That is nice. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Change the dice around. This is the Faraday pad. And what's the what? Cool. Faraday. I thought it was the Faro pad. No, Faraday. 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 Like a Faraday case. Where can people find this? Daytona Magic. And now, this is my prediction. You see my prediction. Just be nice to me, okay? You see my prediction. Sorry, bad job. Hold it. You never smell cold? Can I borrow it? Turn on the camera, please. Turn on the camera. Now, we're gonna take a photo. Okay? This is my prediction. Just surprise. I need your space, make a surprise. And now, let's put here. And uh, I put, you know, so many famous cities from the world, okay? It doesn't matter, you've never been there, or, you know, you went there, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm gonna flip the page. Just call, stop, anytime you want. Stop. Right here? Yeah. Are you sure? You want to go? You want to change it? Uh, sure. Keep it or change? Keep it. Okay. Now, this is a place. Have you been to this place? But you know this city. She has an idea already. And now, now, this is my prediction. Oh, sorry. I took the photo. Now, please download the camera photo. And check out the photo, please. What? <laughs> what? Oh, wow. <laughs> Could you take a corner? 
take a corner and a corner. This can be anything, it's nothing to do with the method. I usually use a white dinner napkin, but you need something to put the coins on. You have to make like a little impromptu table. Keep hold here, keep hold here. There's no extra, there's no shell. I still get emails every week, it's a shell, right? Watch. I'm gonna reach underneath, keep hold. I'm gonna take one coin. I'm gonna give a little pull, it's like magic, isn't it? Oh. Now you all forgot to applaud, but that must be because you yeah. <laughs> Now some people, Tony, say to me, Mark, will you do that again? Tony, some people say, Mark, Can you do that again, Mark? It's funny you would ask, Tony. <laughs> Do you know what the number one question is in the real world? What? Can I examine the coins? Can I touch a coin? Do you know what I say? I don't know, crazy person. <laughs> no, I don't really. I reach underneath, I take one coin. That's for you. Examine. Wow. That's for you. No switch, they're the same coins. Any napkin. And I'm all ready to go again with just eight, two coins. I'm going to write down a prediction about what card you're about to select. Okay. Yes, this one. Okay. And I'll fold the business card in half so it stays a secret until the end. And no, actually, I'll keep it inside of my wallet above my ID so it's out of my reach. So we'll try to get that a little bit more even. So it's out of my reach. Okay. Now, John, you're going to help me pick a card. And we'll do so in a very simple way at first. All the cards are different. Just name a number between 1 and 52, maybe a smaller. Uh, 14. 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 14. You can show other cards or whatever. Before I flip over that, I'll show you my prediction. I said we would pick the two of clubs. Da, da, da. Two of clubs. And the card is the two of clubs. But here's the thing. Maybe some people think this is a coincidence, but it's not. It's destiny. And I knew that the moment I saw you kicking over here. That's because I wrote a second prediction. And I wrote it on Monday, the first of the year. And it says, John the Leah. And that's how I knew that this was destiny. It's fun, right? It's fun. Uh, could you just, could you just take this, give it, give it a bit of a shuffle? I was, uh, I was you Are you sure? Yes, I trust you. Okay. <laughs> well, you're too innocent to, to let go of the uh, answer. You should, and I will reduce you just uh -huh. like you. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, this is something I've been working on. Can you just touch any five cards? Five, yeah? Yeah. From the same spot, or? Any. Three, four, and one more. Five. Now, obviously, you could have had a choice from any of these cards. Like, you had a bunch of choices. But you went for these five. You know what's interesting? We'll give the deck a bit of a cut. But it doesn't even matter because you went for a royal cut. But not just that. That's Everyone knows that. But what's even cooler is that you went for the only blue cards in the deck. Now, I'm going to check something a little bit something with the coins and the card. A matrix effect. The coins are the I don't need shells. I'll check one of them. I don't need shells. You gotta save the environment. Don't use the turtles. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take three coins. Three coins. Three half dollars. What what do you use in the UK? Well, Tabaka Lauras. Yeah. Except for coins, big coins. Yeah. 50p. Yeah. 50p, yeah. We're yeah. going to take this card. Take these three coins. We'll drop two on the table. Watch. By blow, it actually disappears and goes right over here. That's something that you probably already know, but we're going to go a step further. We're going to take the coin like this and take the, them and put one here and place these two, one on the table, one here. If I snap my fingers, that's the moment it actually jumps over here. But don't worry, it gets better. This is magic, this is black. Okay, we're going, to, we're going to put one coin under here and another coin right under there. And now we have three here, none here. Six. 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 Six.
this is Kong coins. It's a jumbo coin set. Wow. So whether you're doing three fly or matrix, well, that wasn't, that's not. Now this is even better. You can go from one hand to the next, just like this. Nice. Last one. And then again, if you wanted to go a step further, it's all routineable. You can actually have this. That's cool. So coin matrix, coins across, all done with Kong coins. You too can do magic with coins that are not just regular coins. Can you show me the big CCC? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is something quite amazingly different. Three coins onto the silk, under the scarf. And you can see everyone through. One, two, three. One at a time. That's the first. Nice. Solid. There's no trapdoors, secret passageways. Nice. Every moment you can see it going through. And there's also a real crazy moment here where you can actually go 360 degrees all the way around. And then at the last moment. That's so visual. And the, they're big coins too. So that, yeah, that's well, cool. exactly. They play to a bigger audience. So, not that the regular charming challenge isn't amazing, because Troy is great, but this you could do on a stage in front of hundreds of people. And then hold the top. Oh yeah, I mean, right, one, two, gone. And then it can reappear anywhere you want, and then you end clean. That is nice. So it's a little, little fun addition to like the vanishing pen. All right, deck of cards all different and mixed up. Yeah. I want you to pick a card. That one. Concentrate on that card. Look me in the eyes. Look right here. Is that card a red card, maybe a diamond? Yeah. Is it a six of diamonds? Nine yeah. of diamonds. Yeah. Depends on the way you think about it. That's... It's a nine of diamonds. Is that yeah. right? Yes. Try that. That could have been a good guess. Pick another one. Make it difficult. Yeah, all right. Is that is that more difficult than the first one? Is is that sort a, a red card? Yeah. Is that a heart? Is a heart on? I mean, think yes. of the number. Nothing else but the number. Letter. I got that. Thank you. Is it the queen? Uh, yeah. Is it? That's cool. Is ah, it? it is. So that trick is our trick called think. 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 Oh. Yeah. That's cool. Is it? Is it just a a regular mark? Deck? Is it what? Just a regular marked deck? It's not marked. Definitely not marked. Not marked. No. Oh wow. It's the regular deck, but not marked. Oh, that's that's yeah. very. Because cool. if it's a marked deck, here, fact. Um, pick one. Put your hand over. Put it on the table. Put your hand on it. Okay, you got one there. You got one. You got two. All right. Now you don't even know what it is, right? Yeah. And I don't know what it is. Yeah. Concentrate on that card. Yes. Look here. Look, oh, I, oh, I gotta just touch you, and I feel the vibration. I yeah. feel that that's probably the jack of spades. Check it out, jack of, and nobody. What? That's so. that's really good. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. That's yeah. cool. And that's called think. That's called think. And what's where can people find that? Uh, Tom Urisitz Productions. Com right there. That's our website address. Here we'll play a memory game. These are a bunch of memory flashcards. So Blake, we'll, we'll save one for the finale. Slide one out. I don't even want you to look at it. Alright, we're going to stick it in the box. I'll do it if you want to, because you're filming. And I'll put the lid on it too. Okay. This we'll come back to later, okay? In the meantime, since you're filming, I'll grab like a chunk off. I just screwed, maybe grab off like 20 or so cards, whatever makes you happy, okay? That's not 20. Grab more, grab more. We're gonna make this more complicated. There we go, that's it. Now, I'm gonna try and memorize each one of these. I'm just gonna rip through them rapid fire, all right? Okay. To test it, I'll have you take a look at whatever that one is to you show it in the camera if you want to. Don't let me see, obviously. Got it? Yep. Great. I'm gonna try and memorize every single one of these. You're gonna add this one in, I'll see if I can figure out which one got added in. Here we go. Not yet, not yet, not yet. All right, uh, face, face down, add it in. Face down, shuffle it, shuffle it. Good, happy, that's a good wash. Shuffle, shuffle! <laughs> 
Here we go. I should not have had you add extras. That was so stupid. Uh, I may have missed, to be quite honest with you. So, if you get a bad video, I apologize. Uh, crap, which one did you add? Uh, wine glass? Wine glass? Oh yeah. good, great, we got it. That's the wine glass, fantastic. Awesome. Wait, well, let's try and do the Rayman style because there's 50 of these. 49 here, one in there. Here we go. There's the apple moon, bicycle, tree, drum, diamond, octopus, fire. So in that, take out the keys. Take out the keys. How do we do? Yes? Wow, nice. you got it. What a life. That's nice. And where can people get this? At the Tannins booth, right here. It's called Memory by Chris Rollins and it rocks. The secret oh. is you just have to memorize them all and get really good at remembering which one uh, they took. <laughs> yeah. Look at those hands. Not a shape. <laughs> I haven't messed with friends in so long, right? I'm sorry to say, I feel like I should just be doing this material. Um, <laughs> you ever see, do you ever see Frankie, um, have you seen Sanky before? Yeah. Like, right, he's an absolute legend, yeah. right? But I love, he wants to do, um, three coins, you can't use two coins. So it's like, we've got one, two, three coins. Ah. So this one here, one here. <laughs> this one's going to join these two. <laughs> 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 it is, it is. Available in the definitive Sankey, just reprinted by Vanishing yeah. Ink. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these coins are so light compared to... They are, they are. In the UK, we have a two pound coin, it's so heavy. Well, what if I told you these were the counterfeit coins? <laughs> yeah. Not. Oh. <laughs> 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 I know that was <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Chinese yes, coin. Okay? Coin. I take a silver coin. Okay? Put it inside. Oh, the Which one inside? Yeah. Chinese. 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 No, no, no. no. Once again. It's okay. so a Chinese coin. I take a Chinese coin. Yeah. Put it inside. Which one inside? Silver. No. Okay. We take slowly so here. Two coins. We are two coins. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Here, slowly, slowly put here. One, two, three. Oh, nice. Yes, okay. And the one and one, real coin, right? Yes. I put it here, I put it here. Okay, now I hold down. Choose one coin, silver or Chinese? Chinese. Chinese, okay. Chinese, put it here, Chinese inside. Yeah. You are Chinese? This uh -huh. Thank you very much. That's cool. And where can people get that? Sorry? Where can people he buy magic. that? He means the magic. He means the magic. Yeah. Awesome. He means the magic. Thank you. Since David Copperfield bandaged the statue in 1983, you're too young. You probably didn't see it. No, I did. But many people did on TV. Well, this is a 2001 U.S. state order that yes. has the Statue of Liberty on it. Yeah. So I'm not Copperfield. I can't make the real statue disappear. So I'm going to attempt to do it with a quarter. If anybody that remembers when Copperfield did it, he used a black curtain that he raised. Yeah. Right above the statue, and when yeah. he lowered it, you had one shot. The statue <laughs> vanished. Right. You can see right through it. See? That's cool. Yeah. This is a game called the Three Shells Game. It's played with three shells and a pearl. Now, the object of the game is to follow the pearl and yeah. place under one, two, or three. So it starts here, and we mix them up. And we mix them again, and I ask, where's that one black pearl under one, two, or three? I can tell you by your eyes that your eyes that say, say three. But it's not under three, where it should be. It's under one, where it could not be. Uh -huh. I'll play the game again, the game called one, two, or three, when I mix the shells, switching one into three. And just as before, now two is three. And I'll ask you, where is that one black pearl under one, two, or three? On the left. I could tell, tell by your eyes that your eyes that they say three, but it's not under three, where it should be, nor under two, where it could not be. But the question this time, and it's not where could it be, but which one is it? Is it one, two, three, four, five, oh. or six? 
That's cool. You get a bunch of those. Yeah, so they all... That's, so that's cool. That's called the Three Shells game. Um, this is our Rorschach test, okay? A uh, test of uh, psychology, perception, yeah. how we see the world. All right, we're gonna, uh, we've got, we've got our, our notes app here. Uh, I'm gonna write, the, the first word that comes to my mind is chaos, all right? Chaos. And uh, what you'll do is, if you, if you can do multiple things, go ahead and write the first word that comes to your mind. I, I don't want to just bring the book to the show, but, and you have all the books, right? And then you say, you got it? Yeah. And uh, the thing is, even if I, I can't see, I'm going to guess your word was different, is that right? Yeah, that yeah. was the word. And, oh yes. That's cool. This is our app notarized. It is a real-time replica of all of the details of a notes app. And so whatever is being written here gets projected over there. Oh, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where is this available for people to get? This is Thoughtcast Magic. So we're going to get it here at our booth. You can also thoughtcastmagic.com. Cool. Uh, it has uh, all of our crazy little app things. So uh, integration between notes, you can also do it. There's all sorts of really cool things. Yeah, yeah, you can take a look at our price list there. Thanks yeah. for sharing that. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Blake. Appreciate it. Here's my prediction. Yeah. That sits there. Here's three little discs that have my logo on them, but there's books. Green, black, and pink, all right? Yeah. I'm going to mix these all up real quick and lay them out. Uh, put your finger onto one of those. That one there. Now, do you want that one or should I take that one? You should take Okay, I'll slide it towards me. Now, uh, pick up one of those discs. Okay, hold on to it. That's yours. We're just going to get rid of this one. Now, before I reveal the prediction, do you want to keep them this way or do you want to switch these two? It doesn't matter to me. How about switch them? You're going to switch, okay? Like that there. So, here's my prediction that I wrote. I'll show you one line at a time. It says, I will have the black book, which I do. It says, you will have the green book, and in the bag will be the pink book. And there's the pink one in there. Oh, that's cool. That's the free will principle. So. Hello, we're going to do uh, Planetarium, Vanishing Ink. As I go through the cards, just say stop. Stop. Right here, take a look at the card. That's the card. Goes into the middle. And now, I use something very special in my wallet. This is a planetarium, kind of. I'll show you what I mean. We'll use uh, the flashlight on my phone. We can use anyone's flashlight, but we'll use mine today. And uh, I'm gonna hold it up against the wall, so if you wanna get a, a shot of the wall, you can see all the stars, yeah? Is that showing up? Yeah. Watch close, think about the card. As it fades into view, oh. one card, the three of hearts, yeah? That's cool. I give it a flick, those all vanish. And they can check this out all they want, and that's Planetarium. Would you like to try it tonight? Sure. You can hold take them out like that, okay? And push them back inside. So hold them, hold them there, slide them out. <laughs> no, really convince yourself? Yes, right? Just, but just take them out. Okay. You know why you can't do that? You can just because the holder is a solid there. object. You can't do it. Well, relax for a second. I'm going to give you 50% control. Just take out the top. Just reach in right there. Just take out the top. Okay. You can do this. You can. They're just hard. Now. Good. Now, this is going to be weird. You can take them all the way out. This is strange because this looks more like cards in a box now. Don't pull yet. You're going to have to really convince yourself that's a solid object. Because it obviously is. It is a true test of your power. Try to remove the rest. Like, uh, sticky, like hard. Like they were actually stuck. Yes. Yeah. Take those. I'm going to give you 100% control. They're just cards, but you can. No problem. <laughs> Everything's examined. <laughs> I love that. We've seen an Okito box, right? This is a cool little ending to an Okito box. So let's say we take two coins, four coins like this. I'll stack them on the table like so, so you can see. All you do is take the Okito box and cover the coins like so. It's not my finger that's when the coins look like they completely disappear. Cool. He wants to record something. All right, Devin. So I'll tell you what, do me a favor. 
You know what to do. Was that fair, by the way? Yes. Do me a favor, remember the card. In all honesty, I don't care what card you pick, Marco. If you want Marco, do me a favor. Take the pack and give it a cut. Yeah, like that. Complete? Right? Yeah. Wallace's been here on the table in full view. Watch. Did you unfasten the wallet right there, Marco? Did you open it? That's cool. Coin. Why it's American? Half dollar. Why it's a penny? Yeah. Okay. So, if I put one half dollar in my pocket, okay? So, what's a coin in my hand? The penny. The penny. But now it's a magician. You see it's a bag. Okay, one more time. This time I put the penny here. Just one more time. It's right, right? Last time, oh, I think yeah, this one. Uh, you have me check it. You do check really a dollar. Okay? Yeah, it's real. I put this one in my hand. Oh, yeah. so. uh -huh. oh okay. Last time, this time I put this uh, this coin. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. oh, well. oh, it's gone. Okay. That's cool. Right next to your house, too. You it on the car. I love it. You shouldn't have felt it. But you know what's special about the car? Inside, they have a special dust. So if you, if you drop it on the floor enough times, that's one. That's two. And that is it. I'm back from Magi Fest 2024, and boy, that was a heck of a convention. That was hands down the best convention that I've ever been to. The experience as a whole was just amazing. I, I met so many new friends there. I met so many amazing magicians, and they were all so kind, so down to earth, very approachable. And the lectures were just amazing. Uh, I We got to see Richard Turner's last show. It was an amazing experience. I highly recommend that convention. I hope to see some of you there in the future. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.